view is for the manual muscle test and length of abductor hallucis, abductor digiti minimi pedis, and flexor digitorum brevis. We're going to start off with abductor hallucis. Please remember that this is a combination action of abduction and flexion, and I'm going to ask my person to bring their big toe down and out to the side like this, flexion and abduction. I'm going to hold on to her other toes to see if she's able to do that motion. We are getting some movement into abduction and flexion, which is good, so we're going to call that active range of motion. The second thing that I'm going to do for the brake test by holding her foot without compressing on the muscle, I'm going to push up against that proximal phalanx where it inserts and try to both extend and adduct it. She's able to hold here and we're going to continue for three, two, one, our full five second count. Then starting in a neutral plane, I'm going to ask her to push down and away. Good. And there we go. We worked our way through concentric. To lengthen abductor halysis, I'm going to extend and then adduct the big toe at the metatarsal phalangeal joint. Our second manual muscle test is going to be for abductor digiti minimi. Going to the outside of the foot, I'm going to hold toe number four and see if she can bring toe number five away. As you can see, that was a combination motion of both abduction and flexion, and she's able to do that motion at the M metatarsal phalangeal joint, so we'll call that active range motion. The second thing that I'm going to do is push into that proximal phalanx near its base and add resistance for five, four, three, two, one. That one was a little bit shaky and it started to get weak towards the end, but it's fairly normal. I'm then going to add some resistance to it and ask her to push away. And there we go. And she's able to complete concentric on her own. Due to the secondary action of flexion and abduction, I'm going to take this toe into extension first and adduct second. This is going to be the length position for abductor digiti minimi pedis. For our third manual muscle test, we're going to be asking our individual to flex toes two through five, mainly at the metatarsal and proximal interphalangeal joint, but oftentimes people are going to use the distal phalanx as well. I'm going to get my person to repeat that a couple times. Good. And we're going to call that active range of motion of flexor digitorum brevis. However, for my brake test, I'm wanting to put my finger along all of the middle phalanxes versus if I was to grab the distal tips, this would be more for longus. So again, I'm going to put my finger along the middle phalanxes, ask for her to curl slightly, and I'm going to lift up against that. And we're able to hold that for five, four, three, two, and one, and relax. Now we're going to start off in a neutral position, like a starting point, and she's going to push her way all the way down and through. Excellent. So there's concentric for flexor digitorum brevis. The last thing that I'm going to do, again very similar, is I'm going to extend the metatarsal phalangeal joint and the proximal interphalangeal joint for toes two through five, and we'll call that the length position for that muscle. 